Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and welcome back to another episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. In our last episode, we've started going around Haven, talking to people, um, Art started bonding a little bit with Solas, picking his brain, trying to get to know him, and lo and behold, we just found our favorite chest hair dwarf, Varric. And I'm definitely excited to talk to this one. Hey, Varric. So... Now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, Aww. you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. <laughs> I'm kind of touched that you're, you're concerned for me, Varric. Uh, this is all. <laughs> I don't even want to think about how many lives were lost on that mountaintop. A lot of good men and women didn't make it out of there. For days now, yeah. we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad yeah. for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was yeah. almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. Yeah, that's the part that I'm confused with. So, Cassandra asked Varric... Asked Varric to speak at the Conclave. So why was Varric not there during the explosion? How is he still standing? I don't know if I've totally missed that or what, but... Um... It's pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad? You mm. might want to consider good, running good at the question. first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Yeah, well that's what happened with the Grey Wardens during the Fifth Blight. Need something? I have questions about Hawk. Ooh! We can get Varric to dish. Let me ask him about... Uh, let me ask him about personal questions. I don't think Art, right this moment, is really all that concerned about the champion of Kirkwall. He's probably more concerned about Varric. So, and plus it's more polite to ask Varric about himself, I think, than start gossiping about other people. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. I'll keep that in mind. You from Ferelden? Orlay? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite yep. whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. Really now? Alright. There's one of the lies right there. One of the lies right there. Uh oh, looks like something's... I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell stores. In my spare time, I manage a spy network, and occasionally, I write Ooh. books. You're an author? What kind of books have you written? I tried my hands at a few genres. My crime hard serials are in high town. I was about to hard say that. in high town. Guards breaking the rules to get things done. The tale of the champion is the most famous thing I've written, yep. or infamous maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't because have for romances. Most of my stories end in tragedy. Probably that says something unfortunate. I was gonna about say it's personally. because you need to be romanceable, Beric. Then maybe you'd be able to make, you know, a proper romance story. But he also was with Bianca, and while I'm sure he would be able to tell an amazing story about Bianca, according to Beric, Bianca is the story that can never be told. And that's probably why he's not able to do romances very well because. He's still highly affected by his by his love, Bianca. Um, 
What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest okay. in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation Ooh, in Ravain somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand had business sense. Nope. Not much tact, but loads of Bartrand's still sense. alive. Could you do Liliana's job? If you've run a spy network, why is Liliana our spy master? To be honest with you, she's just wow. a better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. I'm surprised by that ranks. because I always thought of Liliana, at least in Origins, as a very compassionate person. Um, especially in Origins, I guess she might have been distinct herself a little bit more, but I can still, even in this game so far, I can still see that aspect of her. She definitely cares. Um, I don't know. I still think that Liliana tends to stay closer to people than Varric thinks, or would like to think. How oh. do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? The guy responsible oh. used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions about that. Stupid sexy no Anders! Answers. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I got her off a guy in Darktown. Took me a week to pry his dead fingers off the stone. Uh... Off a guy in Darktown? I don't think that's... true. Who is she named for? I can't <laughs> tell. Why you. not? And the reason for that is... Of course. Complicated. It's yep. the one story I'll never tell. Oh, Varric, you're such a tease. That. Thanks, Varric. But I'm not done talking no with you, yet, Varric. Come back, come back, come back. I... Need something. Uh... I have questions about Hawk. I've oh. read your tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. This will be Go interesting. Ahead. Ah, what did happen to Anders? What happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Okay. Stayed with them a while, but he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. I don't know where he is now. So the no, question, that begs the question, did, is he with Hawk? Did he end up... Because he did end up with Hawk still at the end of Dragon Age 2, at least in my playthrough. Because um, they were romantically involved. So my question is, is Hawk still taking care of Anders? Because I think, at least as far as my Hawk was concerned, he was definitely looking for a, a way to free Anders from from the possession, the spirit possession inside of him. Thy name is Justice slash Vengeance. Um, where are Hawk's friends? I, that's a very, I, I, that was one of the biggest questions I had going into this game. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from okay. the mages and okay. Templars so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Mm -hmm. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who okay. came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow him. the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Honestly. The same thing, honestly. Yeah. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring oh. all sorts of people there. Hawk's little brother was off on some warden business. Ooh, Carver! Border last I knew. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall. So she's into still in Kirkwall. If she quit her job. That was awesome. I right there, boom. I mean, he went. He kind of just went one right after other, but that's okay. Like he filled in the holes of what happened with all of his companions, and that's. I didn't realize that we would find that out so soon, um, because. By the time we meet Varric in 
you know, when he's being interrogated by Cassandra, he didn't. He, he pretty much implied that they all went their separate ways. Um, but he also said that Anders, that Hawk remained with Anders. So I'm wondering if that's still the case. So it's really cool that he was able to. We were able to find out. Um, all for all of us who play Dragon Age 2, find out the current fate of our companions from Dragon Age 2, and so far none of them died! And Sebastian is probably still holding a grudge. Uh, tell me about that red larium. Like, you know, that red larium you decided to keep in Dragon Age 2? Not that, not that Ark knows about that, but... The red larium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered Red Lyrium during an expedition doing, in the Deep Roads. We located an ancient tig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and well, everything's yeah. gone downhill from there. Uh... So what is it? Just another kind of Lyrium? The red stuff is Lyrium like a Fair dragon enough. is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole not host weirdness. of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it mm. came from. What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, you get violent, paranoid, and then... It does creepy shit. Makes things float. Brings statues to life. I've had a few alchemists studying it in Kirkwall. Oh, so maybe that's what he did with it. Maybe that's the red lyrium that he kept. He ended up smart, Farrick. I'm glad. I'm really. I'm kind of glad that if that is what he, what happens if you let um, Vera keep the red lyrium, is he ends up giving it to a few alchemists to study it. That's. I'm glad. See, Varric is smart. I should have given him more credit. Yep, you have a piece of it. Why do you have Red Lyrium? My brother kept a sliver when he sold it. I'm pretty sure he held on to it because it was already talking to him. That little shard drove him mad. Right. I had him taken to a sanitarium and eventually found the fragment in his house. We brought the ship to the surface, Bartrand and I. I wanted to find out if there was a way to shut it up. So, so far, wait a minute. So like so wait, that's another no. shard. So there was the shard that he kept and put on Bianca, and then there's the other shard that's with Bart that was with Bartrand. So he still has the shard in Bianca? Question mark. Uh, if red lyrium is as dangerous as you say, why do you keep it? I've heard that shit singing to me. I know better than anyone how bad it is. In Orzum, our miners keep regular non-crazy raw lyrium mm, okay. in special lead-lined containers. Actually, it's a huge secret how they're constructed. Keep surface folk from horning in on the lyrium trade. I pulled a lot of strings and got a smith to build me four of them nested inside each other. Nobody gets to study it up close for more than an hour. And they have to wait a okay. week between ships. So maybe he kind of glazed over the him removing it from Bianca and keeping it. It's kind of convenient though that I, I I I'm not sure if the writers glazed over that too. If you ended up letting Barrett keep the Red Lyrium or not, but hopefully hopefully it mattered more. It mattered more that I had Barrett keep the Red Lyrium. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah. Okay, so I guess really it's safe to say he doesn't subject. have it in his possession anymore. And I don't. Something? I think I exhausted everything, right? Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward That's extravagant all for lies. Awesome. Thanks, I'm glad we had no that little problem. chat. All right. So yeah, we've still got read. Andraste's Mabari. You know Andraste's old Mabari. He don't show up in the chant. And if you ask those El Holy Sisters, well, they'll say Andraste can't. Have had some big old smelly war dog, but all Ferelden knows it's right. It right, our sweet lady needed someone who would warm her feet at night. And there's Andraste's Mabari, by the Holy Prophet's side, in the fight against Tevinter, that dog would never hide. They say the Maker sent him special, always loyal without pride. 
so he could be the sworn companion of the Maker's holy bride. Oh, that dog, he guards Andraste, without an arrogance or fear, only asking of his mistress just a scratch behind the ears. But then old Mafrath gets to plotting, tries to lure that dog away, but even as they trap the prophet, her Mabari never strays. That didn't rhyme, by the way. And there's Andraste's Mabari, by the holy prophet's side, in the fight against Tevinter, that dog would never hide. They say the Maker sent him special, as always loyal without pride, so he could be the sworn companion of the Maker's holy bride. Oh, they thought the wounds had killed him, but then he limped out towards the fire, and Hesarian, he shed a tear as that dog laid on the pyre. And there's Andraste's Mabari, by the holy prophet's side, in the fight against Tevinter, that dog would never hide. They say the Maker sent him special, always loyal without pride, so he could be the sworn companion of the Maker's Holy Bride. Yes, that was Mabari, the companion of the Maker's Holy Bride, a popular, if historically unlikely, Ferelden Tavern song. I like that. I wasn't sure of the tune, which is why I didn't sing it. Not that I, I thought it was a poem, I didn't know it was a song at the time. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, the fate of the world has just been sealed now that the Inquisitor is stuck. Curses! Demons I can handle, but tents? Not so much. Oh, I get it. So it booms if you see something, if you sense something. I think. Right? Ram leather. Yep. That's pretty cool. I like I didn't notice that feedback. Um, is anything back here? I'm trying to be... Is the, oh, here we go. Elf root. We still need to get 18 of those things to upgrade our upgrade our potions and stuff. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what's in here? Patient observations. Day three. Less thrashing. Some response to stimulus. Vitals seem solid. Two attempts so far by locals to break into the Chantry to kill my patient. All this work to have his life and they will just execute him? We'll inform Lady Cassandra. I expect him to wake before the morn. Oh wow, they're gonna try to kill me in my sleep? That's not very nice. Alright, I've already gone up here, right? Wait, there was some- oh, something over there. Some heretics just like that. Should we surrender or- Don't be foolish. We are the Chantry, as much as any Grand Cleric. That prattle from Valeroyo isn't the word of the Maker. It's politics. Mm. Primeval Red Lyrium deposits found. Okay, so I clearly have some quests. Alright, um... Yeah, I know that that thing is there. Did I skip over, uh... Yeah, there was one here too. Hopefully I'm not actually depleting all the resources, but we'll see. Um, Alright, what do we have here? What do dwarves do when magic gets out of control? We call the Templars, just like the rest of you. Even down in Orzammar? Friend, I've never even seen Orzammar. But dwarves don't have mages, so magic likely isn't a big problem. So they say. What's over here? There, Thran, Thran. Hi, Thran. I remember you. I didn't realize any of Leliana's Oxmen mercenaries were still here. Well, Oxmen mercenaries? You pay for it. Yeah. Oh, you're him. Thran, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, sure. I'd appreciate Tell you me about it the in. requisitions. Well, actually, let me investigate. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food That's in their bellies and iron in their hands. Important. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig yeah. latrines just like everyone else. 
How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logan McTeer, best commanding right. officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered my services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political Yeah, garbage. so in my, again, just to review, Anora is the queen of Ferelden, and Alistair remained the Grey Warden, remaining besties with my, my warden, Angelus. So I'm really hoping that that still means I get to see Al at some point during this game. Um, I'm glad you believe in him. Loghain is a traitor. This is sort of the middle route. I can see why you're unpopular then. With that attitude, I can't imagine I didn't expect to be like that. In People just don't want to hear the truth. I was at Ostagar, and I know what really happened. King Kalen overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting the signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Loghain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can understand. You know, there's been a lot of debate with, with, with Loghain and all that good stuff, so. I can understand that. Uh, tell me about the requis requisitions. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help Ooh. our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Okay. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take cool. the materials or jot down what you found. So Fair let's see well. if I have anything. Make a go with you. Codex unlocked. Study of the fifth life column one. Inspecting requisition. Inquisition weapons. Materials. Craft one. Okay, I need one logging stand and five iron. Our soldiers require additional weapons if they're to be effective. Reward plus one power. Oh, okay. I need to get. I need to get a log. You find anything we need? Patron of the Arts. Two songs collected. Oh, cool. Requisition for weapons. Five iron, and I need long one stand. Okay, cool. Awesome. I like how they're how they're handling the UI specifically for the quests and stuff. All right, there's Varric. We still have Segret. Okay, I remember Segret. Is this taking me out to? Oh, okay. Let's go. We'll need some of your cloth for bandages. And how much is Mother Giselle willing to offer? Can you really put a price <laughs> on the love of Andraste? Hey, Segret. Good day. Or good as it could be with yeah. the sky ripped apart. What kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? You say? With nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroyed most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe. Well, that works. You, you scratch on my back. Process. You must speak with most everyone here. How are people doing? Hope and fear in equal measure. No one really knows what it means when an inquisition well, sure. is called. Yet, of course, we're all getting used to, well, you uh, is our last best hope. Thanks. Yes, nothing personal. Can I see what you have for sale? Of course. My wares right. are at the table. Well then. Uh, because I don't know how I am with inventory and stuff, so... Nothing for sale. Recipes. Armor schematics. Weapon schematics. Ooh. Sturdy Bianca grip. Tier 1 Bianca grip schema. 4 metal. Bianca arms. Bianca aiming. Huh. Okay. Um, nothing for sale. Nothing for sale. Sturdy Bianca grip. Hmm. Nothing to sell. Alright, so we have a bunch of stuff that I don't think I really need. Um. Okay, so the things in red are things that we haven't sold yet. The things that we haven't don't have equipped. Inquisition Longsword. Warrior. Requirement of the 
Inquisition Shield. I think we can sell this because this used to be Cassandra's, so... We can sell the Inquisition Shield. Stiletto... Eh, I'll keep it for now. Ice Staff. Hunting Longbow... Um, we don't have anyone who can use that, so I'm just gonna sell that. Balance Dagger... Stiletto... And Balance Dagger... Uh, Balance Dragger is worth more, so I guess I'll sell the Soletto. Ferelden Captain Longsword, Ferelden Captain Longsword. We, have, we only need two of these. Thief Blade and Sledgehammer. I'll keep the Sledgehammer for now. Armor. Light Armor of the Dragon. Wow, 20? Goodness gracious. Mercenary Coat. Um, oh. Oh, I see. No, mercenary coat, that's fine. Acolyte staff. I was about to say... I'll keep the mercenary coat for now, because I don't know if I'm selling stuff that belongs to my companions. Grandmother, yeah, I probably should... Ooh, I have 18 elf roots now! That means I should be able to go back and get my potion thingy. Aquamarine. I guess these are things that I can sell? Yes, no? I'm guessing? Because I don't think I need any of these things, right? Valuables that I can just sell, right? Correct? Yes, no? Right, well. Buy back. Ba -ba Barbarian Mall. Yeah, these are way too expensive. Way out of my price range. Adventure hats. Upgrades. Sturdy Bianca Grip, Aiming Module, Bianca Arms, Grip Schematic. Oh, okay, so I can either buy these or buy the schematics and make them myself. But they're only, they're not worth, the actual things are only worth eight more than Bianca Arms. Bianca Aiming. Alright, I might get those later. Well, I have a good amount of money, so I guess I'll buy the Bianca Grip, Bianca Arms, and Bianca Aiming. Sturdy Bianca Grip. I'm not really sure how this crafting thing works, so I guess I'll just experiment for a bit. I spoke with Commander Cullum. I, uh, apologize for what I said earlier. It's nothing. Now, Scout, what can you tell me of Redcliffe? The mages have been quiet since their attack on the Conclave. Their attack? Do you have information confirming that the mages were responsible? Well, I had assumed. Don't. Our job is to acquire actionable information. Assumptions can lead you to overlook something vital. That, that's true. Nothing in here. Um, what's this place? Okay, I don't don't know if I want to go there just this moment. Okay, this is where we were. This is where I slept. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think we've already been in here. Yeah, we already went here. And this is where, that's right, this is where we woke up. This was, this is where I was staying at. Is that an owl? Oh, there's like a bird. Caged bird. Cool. Okay, guys, uh, I think this is uh, it for this video. So thanks again for watching this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Tune in next time, everybody. And until then, love yourselves. And love each other.